This man is responsible for creating the most destructive weapon that human civilization has ever seen. Next Friday, on July 21st, Christopher Nolan's new film, Oppenheimer, will be released, documenting his life and the creation of the atomic bomb. The film is based off of this biography, American Prometheus, by Kai Bird and Martin Sherwin. Critical reviews of this biography state that it attempts to whitewash Oppenheimer's legacy as creator of this device, the atomic bomb. It has a lot of people, including me, wondering exactly how the film will portray Oppenheimer and his legacy. Despite the critical reviews of American Prometheus, it does include some very inconvenient facts about Oppenheimer's history and his past. For instance, it details how Oppenheimer, during his graduate studies at Cambridge University, attempted to poison his instructing supervising professor with cyanide. It also details that after that incident, he was diagnosed with, quote, profound schizophrenia that psychoanalysis would not benefit. A few months later, he would attempt to strangle his friend and former classmate with a trunk strap. Indeed, throughout his first year at Cambridge, he was known for collapsing in fits to the floor of the university laboratory and muttering to himself. I guess in hindsight, maybe that makes sense that he would go on to create a mass murder machine. If you're interested in watching Christopher Nolan's new film, Oppenheimer, make sure that you don't miss part one of my docuseries called The Truth About Oppenheimer. It's dropping the same day as the film, July 21st. Head on over to youtube.com forward slash at Vital Descent. If you watch my film, you'll learn about how, in secret, Manhattan Project scientists injected American citizens with plutonium without their knowledge or consent, just to see what would happen.